All right, so I'm changing devices here. I can see actually carrying an iPad in the field and doing this. So I'm gonna to try to set this up on my iPad and try to let you see what's gonna display on the screen a little better than you could on my phone there. So when I'm I try to zoom in here, you can see I'm on the settings tab in my iPad and I'm gonna to go to the shot cam right there. And it's gonna to try to join the shot cam on my network. So a network connection is not required with the shot cam. It creates its own Wi-Fi and you can connect that device to your device. So the shot cam device is connected to your phone or iPad or laptop, whatever you wanna carry in the field or on the range. So I'm gonna go back home here by clicking the home button and I'll have to open the shot cam app. It's going to want to ask if you want to allow shot cam to use your location. I select allow while using the app. You can't select not at all. Okay, so I got a red screen. Why do I have a red screen? Because my cover is on the camera. So let me take the cover off. Okay, once I take the cover off, the image here is just going to be at the ceiling because the gun is just propped up on the wall behind me. But I wanted to walk through the different settings here. So hopefully you can see them on the, the, the iPad versus when I was trying to look at it through my iPhone. All right, so the top right hand corner there, you see the setting of the gun. It's on shotgun over and under and on clays. On the top left hand corner, it's got the timestamp and the date. I did not set that. That came either preset or somehow within the settings, they know what the time and date is. I uh, set the reticle in the middle here to be an orange circle. When I'm looking down range with a shotgun, I'm sending a pattern of shot down range. So I think in the form of a circle, not an X or a crosshairs or a point. So that's why I chose the circle reticle setting. Let's go in these, each of these settings here and you can see them. Uh, just like many other um, devices, you see gears here is the settings. So I'm going to touch on the settings. Use my pencil, maybe you can see it a little better. Touch on the settings. Give it just a second each time. I'm, I'm telling myself that I get a little click happy. Give it a second to load and you have the different settings here. So the first thing it says up here is target. So what are you shooting? So I come over here to the, this side and I can show you the choices are clays, flying birds, ground game, paper targets, or a shot pattern test. So again, the, what it's settings about these different birds is not as necessary. It doesn't film any faster or slower, but it does change the settings of how long it records after initiated, and then how long it records after the recoil, and then how long it takes before it goes back into battery save mode. So it is important to make the selection there. And you can try the different ones. And if, if what you're doing is different, you can use a different setting. I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner to the go back button. Look at the next choice, shooting device. So that's my over here, my choices here. I'm gonna click on this, shotgun over and under, shotgun semi-auto, shotgun pump, crossbow, rifle semi-automatic, bolt action rifle, handgun semi-automatic handgun revolver. Why is this important? Really because it's searching for the action that it's going to take to make the recording start. So if I'm shooting an over and under here, then if I close the breech on the over and under, it's going to start the camera. But if I'm out in the field waiting for a dove to come by with a loaded gun, I'm not going to open and close my breech. You bump the gun, bump the stock of the gun, the forearm of the gun, and it will start the recording. If you're using a semi-automatic, it doesn't have a breech, it has a bolt. So it, that's what it's gonna look for there is, or a pump, it's gonna be when you close the device. So if you load your gun and when you close the action on the receiver on automatic or on a pump or on the breech on the over and under, it will set up to start recording. But if you don't fire a shot, then it erases that time of recording. How does it know when you fire a shot? It senses the recoil of the shot. 
very good technology there. So it's important to select the type of gun you're mounting this on. And then know that if, when you change guns, if you change to an automatic gun, not only do you want to change this in your setting, but you need to reset the aiming point on the camera because that angle is going to be different on, on over and under versus a semi-automatic. If you go from semi-automatic to pump or single shot, they're going to be the same within reason. Okay, wouldn't hurt to check it, but over and under to one of those others definitely change the setup. So we'll go back to what the next choice is. Next choice here is the video format. So I'll let you see the choices there. There are the you know, 720p, 1080p. The important thing is your resolution that do the playback mode. You know, you know, what are you trying to do this with? If it's for YouTube, the 720p is plenty. And you see the next one is the frames per second, 120 frames per second, 100 frames per second, or 180 frames per second. The default here was the 1080, but not many people can actually see 1080p on their computers or what they're watching YouTube on, but the 720p is fine. You can store more video if it's a 720p, and that frames per second being higher, you can get better quality and run slow-mo, depending upon your editing software, how good that slow-mo shot is going to look and also seeing your shot string going down range when you're watching these videos so i'm going to do 720p 120 frames per second i could go to 180 frames per second but i've learned with my editing software iMovie it it takes longer the more frames per second and it it, it really kind of gets bogged down with that so all right i like that one i'm gonna go back play with that on your computer how you want to set it up so that was video format. Next is the rectangle. That was where I was saying a while ago, I chose the orange circle. Your choices there are red dot, the actual shot cam logo, the different colored crosshairs, black or orange, the orange circle has a picture of a gun, or you can actually turn the reticle off, but that kind of defeats the purpose of the shot cam is you don't you want to know from a learning standpoint where was i aimed i want that reticle to be aimed at the right place and knowing why did i miss that bird or that clay so i chose over here on the right you make the radial button selection i chose orange circle because again i see a pattern going down range not a point all right your preference there go back and the next choice there is the date stamp on the videos you can choose to have logo only date and time date time and logo or off i'm just going to do date and time for now so i chose that over here if shot cam wants to start paying me to do these videos i'll gladly put their logo on the camera videos all right next choice here is the wake-up sensitivity so on the wake-up sensitivity is that's kind of how hard you have to bump the gun in order for it to start recording the videos the default setting here is normal. You know, I've never used this before, so I don't know what normal is. I don't know if I need very sensitive, less sensitive, or don't choose a sleep disabled, in my opinion, but, but kind of play with that. My default is normal because the people who invented this camera know more about this than I do. I'm gonna go with their choice here. And that needs to be the default on a lot of these. A lot of these next ones you see here, normal, 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 normal. If you'll watch the video that Emily does, Emily is the owner of the company who invented ShotCam. It's his daughter. Nobody knows this product more than they do. And they say, leave these defaults where they are, uh, unless you really have a good reason to, but you can see the choices. The recording time, that's gonna be the choices of, you know, what the normal is or short, half normal, long, two times normal, extra long. The longer those videos, if you wanted to watch birds fall or animals, you know, be able to track them after the shot, then you want to change that to extra long. But I'm going to stick with normal for now, and we can change that later. Next one up there is the recording time. I'm sorry, that was what we just did, recording time. Um, playback speed is set at normal. You can, you can change that to slower, faster. You can kind of play with that based on what application you're trying to use. If you're trying to instruct new shooters, or if you're doing that for your own benefit, you can choose that. Uh, the Wi-Fi frequency, the main, main reason you would change that, you have the different 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. If you've got other Wi-Fis running on that same frequency, you don't want the inter interruption or, or the feedback there, so you might want to change that. Most times, most people, 2.4 is going to be fine. Um, the device name is here on this one. You know, it, the default is ShotCam, 
you can name it anything you wanted or if you want to have multiple shot cams you'd actually need to number those and change those i only have one and then the version of the software is the last thing version 4.1.0 all right so if I, I don't remember if i changed anything or not but you'll always want to save any changes you made or if you don't want to save those changes obviously you can go back to your original settings um the movie camera that's to start the record and then you can stop it and you can play your movie there this just shows you how it's going to store the file and it's going to date it for you the file and you can delete it right there i'm gonna click that and i'm gonna delete it warning you're sure you want to delete it yes i'm sure i want to delete it. and it's gone all right very cool all right i think that's it for now i may come back if i decide to add something else or maybe i should i shoot those little tweety birds that are flying around i don't think i should do that all right uh, if that's all then thanks for watching click like subscribe and share with a friend